Did you give my notes to David Lowe? <laughs> I had some notes here. Has anybody got any notes he doesn't want? <laughs> <laughs> anybody who's not going to speak? <laughs> oh, yes, all right. All right. Uh, as, as, I look, as I look about this table, I, I see so many lambs and sheep. Ram Ram. <laughs> <laughs> Here, 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 here's the damn rap. A most astonishing character. He's uh, against the church and for Dick Shepard. <laughs> He's against the theater and for Sybil Thorndike. He's uh, against the astrologers and for the spiritualists. He's against the Daily Express and for Beaverbrook. <laughs> what he says to the politicians. <laughs> <laughs> but has been striding down Fleet Street, up and down, in my time. A most remarkable character. Sincere, honest, kindly in intention, and utterly and absolutely devoted to the profession that he adored. Yeah. Swart is an honest man. It isn't for nothing that he has earned that familiar and proud insignia, Pony Swart Chimali Park. <laughs> but that idealism, that honesty, is tempered by shrewdness. Thus, when Lord Southwood tempted him and Swarf took the long view, that is, the long acre view, <laughs> that showed that a certain shrewdness dominated his character as well. In fact, bearing out what was said of him, no reasonable Swarfer refused. Once upon a time, Swap was out shouting even Larry Rue and the gorilla. And Swap talked at great length, and I asked him, Swap, why don't you ever stop talking? And he said, because when I do, I find the conversation becomes very dull. <laughs> <coughs>